guys. It's already 11.33. I'm supposed to be in the lab an hour ago, but here I am, still taking my sweet time in our apartment because I don't want to go to the lab. <laughs> Why? Because I just don't want to. <laughs> I'm not even trying to look good, trying to look put together. I'm okay, I'm not sick. I just feel under the weather. I just feel lethargic. I just don't feel like going anywhere. <laughs> Let's see if these concealer will actually conceal some of this eye bags. <laughs> But at least I look cute with these glasses. Do I? I don't know. I'm gonna do an experiment. I'm gonna gather some data. I'm gonna analyze the data. Summarize the data. Like what I usually do. Over and over again. Let's go. so i'm just gonna wrap up today's vlog actually the main idea of this whole vlog is to just show you guys the glamorous side of grad school and today specifically i just don't feel like doing anything i in fact don't want didn't want to go here in the department i didn't want to do any work i didn't want to do my experiments i didn't want to do any analysis i didn't want to do anything related to my work at all. I just wanted to stay in bed and bed rot. But I felt like if I did that, I would have felt worse. And if I did that, <laughs> not having any progress would actually make me feel bad. And that's actually one of the good things, one of the good things that I have learned in grad school is that just show up. As long as you show up, even if you're unmotivated, that's all that matters. That's already a big win. I should not beat myself up for having my lows because that's normal. Not all the time will I ever feel high happy and motivated and i think that's true for everyone no matter where you are no matter what field you're working in 
you're always gonna feel down one way or another and i actually didn't bring my lunch as well because i didn't have much appetite lately i actually had some meal prepped i am really loyal to meal prepping but the thing is i didn't want to eat my food <laughs> lately it's like my mouth was just looking for something different i want to I was craving for some food that I didn't make. It's not that I'm bad at cooking. I'm actually pretty decent, <laughs> if you ask me. I'm actually a very picky eater, but personally, I I think I'm a pretty decent cook. But the good thing is we're actually going to go to Costco for some grocery shopping. And that's I'm really excited for that. I'm really excited for my day to end with grocery shopping because that is actually very therapeutic for me. In a way, if you're ever feeling down today, don't worry, I'm here with you. I understand you and it's completely normal. So take as much rest as you want, take everything slow, don't beat yourself up. And if somebody else is beating you up for it, I mean, not literally, hopefully, just leave. Protect your peace. Protect your mental health. Okay, that's really easy for me to say, but I know everybody has a different situation. I'm just really happy and grateful that my advisor is very understanding. Okay, bye. See ya. Several long days later. <sighs> My heart is still beating so fast. Anyway, hi guys. Today is the weekend. As, is, as, as you can see, my spirits are pretty high now. As compared to the previous days, it was like all the way down. So yeah, anyway, in relation to this unglamorous side of grad school life, um, I just feel like I needed to address this because just a couple of days ago, I found a video on TikTok and she's a new PhD student. And she was asking if departments nowadays do they just accept anybody for the phd program and the reason why she asked that question is because she felt like she's so behind uh as compared to her peers because she's i think she's in astrophysics currently and she's taking up this um, math methods course and she feels like she needs to review a lot of the basics whereas her classmates are already way ahead of her and as somebody who was once in her shoes, I could completely relate to her. And if anybody of you there is watching this video and is also in the same situation, just I just want to let you guys know that we're all in this together. This is a universal experience and that you don't need to worry because comparison is a thief of joy. And honestly, if you're in grad school, you always have this imposter syndrome that's lingering into inside you so it's never gonna go away it's just a matter of how you're gonna battle that yeah for me even up until now i'm in my fourth year as a phd candidate i am still battling with my imposter syndrome I'm, i always think that i do i'm not worthy of being here i always compare myself with my other peers like i always look at them publishing papers here and there and i always look at them discussing and i feel like wow their discussions are so mature their discussions are so amazing they're so brilliant whereas i'm here i'm just here i'm just like a flower like i'm just there <laughs> i'm just nobody but then again i am here because i work for it i am here because i deserve it and i am here because i want to prove to myself that whoever i was before is you know, should be proud of the one who I am now. Does that even make sense? But 
Yeah. I also saw a video in TikTok saying that one misconception if you're in grad school is that people think of you as somebody who knows a lot, somebody who is really brilliant, who is a know-it-all. But in fact, the reason why we're in grad school is because we feel like we don't know enough. We feel dumb. That's why we wanted to learn more. And even as we learn more, we started to feel more dumb because we feel like there's so much other things that we still don't know. A lot of people are thinking that just because I'm in grad school and just because I'm studying physics, I am automatically the most intelligent among the bunch. Or in fact, I am not. And then again, q in imposter syndrome. <laughs> I honestly just documented one day out of all the off days that I had this week because I was off. I didn't wanna, I didn't even wanna pick up my camera. So at least you guys were able to see how it was. And I hope you guys are also able to resonate with me. Also you guys, as I was editing this video, I was actually really conflicted if I should keep the style of edit as usual. But then I also want to showcase how raw and glamorous grad school life is. So I was also thinking of just tying up all the clips together with very minimal text and probably no background music at all. But then I realized that I literally have it in my YouTube bio saying that I am a PhD candidate in physics who romanticizes her grad school life. So I realized that I should just stick to that because it could also serve as a reminder for me that despite all the highs and the lows, I still have these beautiful memories to look back on. But if you're looking at this video or any of my other videos and then you're gonna think like, oh, she has a very wonderful life, she has a very glamorous life, she looks so put together and all of that. I just wanna let you know that what you're seeing is very curated. Like I, as I told you, I'm curating it for me to look back on those beautiful memories despite having all those lows. But everything you see in the internet is very curated. So I hope you don't compare your life to that. Because from one graduate student to another, I too have all these problems. I too am very tired of life at times. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have gone through all this way, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. That will help me a lot because currently the algorithm hates me. And if you do any one of those three, that would really help me in propelling all my videos, like showing all my videos to my target audience. So yeah, I would really appreciate it if you would do that for me. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and see you guys on my next one. Bye.